Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a at home beauty ritual video. Um, I'm sharing all the products that I'm using at home during quarantine, self isolation, whatever term you want to call it. And I'm quite enjoying having the extra time for self care to be honest. So I thought I would share the products that I'm using, things that I've used before and I'm continuing to use during this time. And it's just nice to have more time to spend on ourselves, I think. So I'm definitely making the most of it while I can. Um, I'm going like makeup free today, so just excuse that. <laughs> but I thought I'd practice what I preach and practice self acceptance. So we're going with it today. And um, I'm going to start off with the physical things that we can do for ourselves. And then I'll go into like the mindset things um, and the more like inner work that I want to talk about with you today. So let's start with body. I've been using a dry brush for quite a long time, um, but I did get out of the habit of doing it consistently. So I've been incorporating this into my routine in the mornings or the evening, um, depending on when I shower that day. And body brushing is great just for boosting circulation. It's good for exfoliating the skin, making your skin smoother, um, helps any uneven skin tone, any lumps and bumps, just helps to get things moving and it's really nice and therapeutic as well. Um, I find it quite relaxing to do and it makes the skin quite pink just from the circulation. Um, so you know it's working. <laughs> I've also ordered like a wooden paddle because you can do um, like lymphatic drainage and I'm going to do that after my showers. So you do this before and then the paddle I'll do it after. So it's the upward stroke motion um, that you do and um, yeah I really find them very good. I am wearing quite a fancy top today but it's so comfy, it's so soft <laughs> that it feels like really like nice to be in. Um, just thought I'd say that. So then I tend to use a body lotion um, like this. This is the Gatineau AHA body lotion so it's kind of exfoliating at the same time as moisturising. Now I wasn't very, I don't love lotion on my body. <laughs> I find it a bit like, even like sun cream I hate using. Um, so this, it's been something that I've been forcing myself to do more so because I do think that we need to look after the skin the same way we do on our faces, on our bodies. Um, so I've been putting this on like in bed usually in the evening before I go to sleep. I'll apply a hand cream like this one, which I got recently. It's not the most glamorous hand cream. It's says O'Keefe's Working Hands Hand Cream. <laughs> For extremely dry and cracked hands it says. Now my hands aren't extremely dry by any means. I do get quite dry cuticles but I thought the more intensive it is the less I need to put it on. That was my uh, theory in my mind. So it's quite inexpensive and so far so good. I do wake up and they feel very smooth so pretty happy with this. And then the foot lotion I use is the Margaret Dabbs um, Pure Feet Foot Lotion which is vegan and very moisturising, it's got uh, calendula, hemp seed oil, so it really reduces the buildup of any callous skin on the feet. And again, because it's like summertime, I think it's important to look after our feet if you're wearing sandals and that type of thing. And yeah, so these three are like my top body products at the moment. Ooh. And then I'll talk about hair briefly. Um, I've been using this like casting creme I did it this morning actually. I do this maybe once a month and it's a L'Oreal casting creme. So I took this out of the bin because I put it in recycling. And this is the shade Ice Mocha that I have. And I just find it a very good like, I will eventually go back to more of a lighter shade but while I can't go to the hairdressers, I think um, it's nice to just maintain a bit of gloss at home and I find the colour just looks a bit richer when I put this on. So it's semi-permanent, 28 washes I believe and very quick to use, just apply it on dry hair, on the roots, and then the rest of the hair. Um, very self-explanatory in the instructions, and doesn't irritate my scalp, and I think the results are pretty good, so I've been using this for quite a few years, and um, really like it, as opposed to other brands, I find L'Oreal to be the best semi-permanent um, option out there. But if you've got any recommendations, obviously let me know in the comments. Teeth! <laughs> I am... Um, big on dental hygiene as people know and I had not been continuing my tongue scraping I know people find that strange, some people do, some people don't um, I haven't 
continue that throughout quarantine. I got a bit bored of it, <laughs> to be honest. But what I do every now and again when I feel like it is a teeth whitening strip and the Crest strips are my favourite ones. Uh, I do have a variety of options here, intensive, gentle, professional. Um, so I'll leave one of these on top and bottom for half an hour and you can't drink during that time, that type of thing. So I kind of plan it when it's a good time for me not to be doing anything else. And I do find a difference. So I recommend these if you want to whiten the look of your teeth. Um, mine weren't very yellow to begin with, but consistently I found these have helped. And I don't get sensitive teeth, but maybe if you do, there are options for more sensitive prone um, teeth and gums. Let's see, what shall I talk about next? Uh, skincare hasn't changed too much. I have been spending more time doing like the masks and face scrubs and that type of thing. Uh, Nip and Fab Salicylic Fix Facial Scrub is very nice. I use it in the morning or evening. And then also the Ordinary Peeling Solution. This is quite a popular one on Instagram and it's a very weird thing to use because it's like a red burgundy colour. So be careful when you apply it. It does make your face sting because it's killing all the, um, well not killing, <laughs> it's getting rid of all your dead skin cells. But the results are really good so I, don't, I highly recommend this looking for like a proper peeling solution and then the mask I'm using at the moment is the Aesop chamomile anti-blemish mask I just find it really clarifying it's more of like a mud texture it's kind of like a pinky so you can't, you can't always tell when you put it on sometimes I have it on and I don't think it's very obvious <laughs> so it'd be quite funny to answer the door in it um, and let's see oh yeah the gua sha gua sha I think people call them this is one of my favourite tools and it's just so relaxing to use. I tend to use it in the morning and evening. Um, so you do, I'm not going to do it properly now, but there's a whole routine to it, which I can show you in another video if you'd like to see that. Leave me a comment. And you can really work on different areas of your face to help tighten and tone the skin. So hopefully when I'm like 50, I will look 15. No, <laughs> but it is good for helping the skin have like extra glow. I found my skin tones more even when I use it, and I'm waiting for the cheekbones to pop, but that's the hope. <laughs> um, the the castor oil I've started using, incorporating into my routine because it's meant to be very good for promoting eyelash and eyebrow growth. So I want to try this out and see how it goes. I will report back to you if it's any good. This is just from Amazon. So you apply it before bedtime and onto the lashes and brows, just brush it through. But I have been using a lash and brow tints like kit. This is the Ilo one. I used to use it a few years ago, but they've updated it now. Um, this is a lash tint kit, but I've been using it. Well, I use it today on my eyebrows because I thought it's the same principle really. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for like two separate ones. So they're looking a bit like more defined and yeah that's what I've, so I haven't got any mascara and I've just got the um, like lash tint and then I curled them. So it just makes wearing no makeup feel a bit more like put together and polished as opposed to not having anything on and just, I don't know, I always feel like a bit like <laughs> ill when I haven't got my um, mascara on. Uh, that's my perception but that's just I think it makes me feel better having something like this to use every now and again and just feel a bit more like a bit more like me um so the nails is something that I couldn't really <laughs> I find it such a like relaxing thing to do is paint my nails and I've been giving them a break obviously I've had to from shellac so I've been using a jewelry nail strengthener which you put on underneath nail polish and it's okay I wouldn't say it's transformed my nails like some people claim but um it's I think it's doing its job. But what I have really enjoyed using are the Nails Ink um, nail polishes. And this one has got nail care, this is the nail care version, so it's really good for helping to um, strengthen the nails and they grow quicker. I've noticed like the condition of them a lot better when I use this nail polish. And it's a really nice colour, um, Charlotte Muse it's called, like a beigey tone, so it's really, really nice. And then I have Eaton Street with Collagen which is what I've gotten now. Which you won't be able to see, so it's like a purpley mauve colour. 
I keep my nails quite short anyway, but it's just nice to um, have something feeling a bit more like manicured. And then my glass nail file, which is Margaret Dabbs. Um, I like to do it in front of the TV or if I'm watching something or listening to something. I really enjoy doing that. Um, so those are the main products, physical products I use. I also have been shaving so I can't get wax done, which I don't really enjoy shaving, but I'd rather be like hair free than not do anything. And then physically also I've been doing some like running when I feel like it. Uh, lots of long walks, uh, Melissa Wood Health workouts um, are really good as well, like yoga and Pilates inspired. Sometimes I'll do a HIIT workout depending on like how I feel energy wise. So I've been mixing it up and keeping it, trying to keep it interesting and it's a good time to try new things. Dancing as well <laughs> is also quite fun. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is mindset work. So just briefly, because I'm not sure how much battery I have left on my phone or storage space rather. I think now is a really good time to just focus on your mindset work and I've really been trying to um, kind of like hone down on that with myself and I haven't got any excuses right now not to be doing that kind of inner work. So I've been prioritizing listening to podcasts um, pretty much non-stop throughout the day. <laughs> I try and give myself a break from them sometimes and also reading, filling my mind with like positive and like good content I think is so important and not watching the news all day and that type of thing. Um, a book I'm gradually getting through is Mindset. I have been like f dipping in and out of this for other books and then audiobooks so I've needed to like finish this for a while. <laughs> I'm about halfway through but it's on about having like a growth mindset as opposed to a fixed mindset but I can do a separate video on my favourite like books and podcasts at the moment. If you would like to see that, leave a comment and let me know. Um, but yeah, really working on like my limiting beliefs that I have going on in my head, like negative thoughts. I will often get a notepad, something as big as this, and do like half a page, like put a line down the middle. On the left hand side, I'll write like a brain dump of everything that I'm thinking and like not filter it, just write. And then on the new and like a sentence like I I'm trying to think of an example now <laughs> say your belief was like I'm not good enough on the other side you write things that disprove that or something else you want to believe instead something you want to affirm because our thoughts create our feelings and our feelings drive our actions and our actions create our results so it's all linked in and it's found I found it to be really helpful and having more time to do that has been so so good uh, so yeah, really coaching my mind <laughs> is like my priority right now uh, by just doing all the things that I can do, all the tools in my toolkit to create a more positive mindset, positive life going out into the new world that we're entering into, whatever that might be. I'm hoping to come out of it as like a better version of myself <laughs> and yeah, I'm seeing the results so far like just mentally. I think it's how you feel internally, whether the external results change or not instantly, that doesn't matter, you need to focus on how you're feeling emotionally, so that's what I wanted to end this on. Um, Self-care covers so many aspects, not just the physical, it's really all about, um, if you don't feel good on the inside, you can do all the outer work you want, but you're not going to have the kind of flow and the feel the peace that you're really looking for, so... That's my message for you. Um, I will leave all the links to my social channels down below. Um, please like this video and share it with someone if you enjoyed it. And let me know what you're doing during this time for beauty and self-care. Um, I'd love to know and I will see you soon. Bye guys.